And it's a great day to be live right here in West Central Florida as well as in Tallahassee on this beautiful Florida wintry day. I'm Bill Bunkley, and this is Drive Time. We're glad you're joining us this afternoon, and as we are keeping uh, our prayers for all the families and the people who've been affected by that horrible accident just south of Gainesville. And in fact, here in Tallahassee, I've been in committee meetings just in the last few minutes where legislators are still not here because they can't get through the traffic tie-ups on I-75. So we'll keep them in your prayers. And today is an important day. Some of you have not decided who you're going to be voting for for the GOP nomination for the President's United States. Coming up in a few minutes on Drive Time, we're going to let you talk about your candidate. We're going to let you talk about why you either voted for Mitt Romney, Newt Gingrich, uh, Ron Paul, or Rick Santorum. We'll also take your calls in just a few minutes if you decided not to vote against a, a particular candidate for a reason. People are trying to decide. I voted. We'll talk about that. But we want to hear from you. So in just a few moments, our phone lines will be open at 877-943-9673. That's toll-free, 877-943-9673, because uh, this is going to be a very heavily listener supported show today because we want to hear from you and i'll be weighing in as well but before we do that i don't know if you've been paying attention to some of the economic stats that's been coming out first of all interest rates for new homes are at the lowest levels they have been ever let me repeat ever second of all because of the amount of inventory that had to be reabsorbed because of the tremendous uh, depression that we've been in and i'm gonna call it depression because it's been that bad Well, right now, there's a lot of housing units out there, and we're seeing the new homes come back as well. And so we've got buying opportunities out there, and there are some signs that we may be bottoming out in terms of the value of homes. Well, why is that important? Well, today, it's been a while before, it's been a while since we've really had a chance to to sit down and set the plate, but today we're going to set the plate on, hopefully, the emerging new economy right here in Florida. And to do that, we're going to be talking uh, with our folks at newhomeprograms.com. And uh, they're with us this afternoon. Of course, I'm talking about the founders uh, of the New Home Programs. That is uh, Corey and Millie Kammerdiner. And uh, Corey and Millie, thanks for being on Drive Time today. Thanks for having us, Bill. Thank you for having us. Such a wonderful opportunity to be in the show All right, with you. Millie. Uh, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about how you can get into some new homes. And there's an opportunity for you to get with some folks who really are experts in the field uh, to put all of this together. And I think they're with us now. And Corey and Melanie, we're glad to have you with us. It's nice to be on the show, Bill. Thank you for having us. Corey and Melanie, you guys have a great story uh, that we had a chance to visit uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, it was just a real inspiration to me. Before we talk a little bit about your business uh, and the new home programs, I want to talk a little bit uh, about your background because, Corey, you were born in Pennsylvania, but your father was in the U.S. Army. Tell us a little bit about your upbringing because I think that has a little bit to go toward the foundation of uh, who you are and how you run your business. Well, my dad, uh, he was born in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. His dad was in the Army Air Corps, and uh, my father um, joined the Army when he was uh, probably around 17, 18 years old. Uh, so I grew up as an Army brat, and uh, I later joined the Navy. Um, I signed up at 17. I served aboard nuclear-powered submarines. Um, I did that for about eight and a half years. My last tour in the duty, I was a Navy recruiter stationed down in uh, Bradenton, Florida. And uh, after that, I served in the uh, United States Navy Reserves for about four years. And uh, due to my military background, um, I learned a lot about discipline and order and structure and, you know, really to to honor uh, people and the things that, you know, um, you know, you receive. So in our business today in real estate, I use the principles that I learned from the military. Um, and I combine that with principles I learned in the word of God. And, uh, we took both of those and we structured a real estate company around it. And I believe that's one of the aspects that allows us to be successful in this market because, uh, you know, the, the discipline, you know, not listening to all the negativity, but just, you know, pressing on and moving forward in faith. Also in our military establishment, now I know that uh, because of some of the budget uh, challenges, uh, the Defense Department uh, in some areas uh, has curtailed a little bit of the uh, the redeployments and the fact of uh, men and women in the military moving around. But the other aspect of you getting some expertise is not just in the personal discipline, but uh, you and a lot of your colleagues through the years by serving uh, 
uh, in the U.S. military. You also know got to know a lot of people that had to move a lot, and, and that taught you something too, didn't it? Uh, most definitely. Uh, in the military, normally you're going to serve a tour for about three years, and then you're going to be reassigned. And uh, pretty much you got to go wherever the military tells you to go. So, yeah, you do a lot of moving around. Um, in eight and a half years, um, I think I moved probably maybe five, six times. Wow. Wow. And that's a lot. Now, another part of this story is, of course, um, Corey is uh, the, the manager, the broker of record for the real estate firm. And, of course, that website, if you want to check it out right now, is newhomeprograms.com. That's newhomeprograms.com. But Millie's also joining us a little bit. Maybe I'll ask her to tell her side of that story. Millie, we're glad to have you with us. And because you guys are working as a team, folks like to know a little bit about that uh, bio- that uh, biographical background. Tell us how you had a chance to uh, to meet Corey. Well, it was a gut scent, really. I wasn't uh, prepared for what God had in store for me, but, you know, uh, all you have to do is obey. Uh, Corey and I, Corey actually was my realtor, so he sold me my first home. And with that house came an engagement ring. So <laughs> wow! <laughs> <And> it, <laughs> hey, hey, that's a special closing. So it was a special there. closing. <laughs> <laughs> but God used that for you know just to build each uh, each other. Um, little did I know, Corey was who really brought conviction in my life about God, and and through that relationship, we were able to discover God in in each other, and also. Uh, serve and and serve other people, and that's how the concept of newhomeprograms.com came about. Hmm. Now let's talk about this for a minute, guys, because in many people's minds in the last two or three years, and we're talking to folks in our audience who may have gone through some deep waters, they may have had to have give up, given up a home, but at least probably most people, they haven't been thinking about buying another piece of property. Corey, tell us why we are now at the point where considering buying real estate is something that uh, uh, wise people are really looking at right now. Well, just as you mentioned at the beginning of the show, the interest rates are at an all-time low. Um, On top of that, anytime um, you're losing property taxes because, you know, the people are losing homes to foreclosures, the government's going to step in to try to um, rebound the housing market. And right now, the government's actually giving money away to first-time homebuyers to purchase homes and the worse it gets the more money they have so there's certain areas out here uh, in the Tampa Bay area where the counties were giving up to thirty thousand dollars to first-time home buyers on top whoa, of that whoa 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 thirty thousand dollars <laughs> know, I, I have been a real estate broker since I uh, since 19 let's see 1975 and uh, when I saw that I was reading some of the some of our, our prep stuff I couldn't believe that somebody, not everybody, but somebody might qualify for that kind of uh, uh, of assistance. That is unprecedented, isn't it? Most definitely. And um, I can tell you, it was Pasco County, and you didn't even have to be a first-time home buyer. You could actually be a second-time home buyer purchasing a brand-new home, and they were also giving you enormous amounts of down payment money. But also remember that a first-time home buyer is someone who has not owned a home in the last three years. So those people who lost their homes through foreclosure in three years can potentially buy a home and receive this benefit from, you know, the government as well. Well, let's talk about that because you guys are the experts. And you just mentioned, Millie, that there's a, a three-year turnaround time. Now, um, how difficult is it? Because through the years, there has been uh, different requirements. And again, whether it's an FHA or a VA requirement, or if it's a Fannie or Freddie requirement, which are different, or if it's a private lender. Give us a little bit of your expertise. If someone uh, did give up a house, what are some of the guidelines you would share with some of these uh, returning home buyers, which we still call first-time home buyers after about three years? Tell us, uh, do they have any chance at all to re-enter the housing market? Yes, most definitely. Um, pretty much what they need to do is reestablish um, their credit you know, if you lost your home and, you know, you wait three years, the bank wants to see that you got back up on your feet. Maybe you, you know, purchased a car, maybe got a couple credit cards and show proof that you've been paying on time, you know, for three years. Then what they're going to do is ask you for an explanation. Why did you lose your house? And if you have a, a good explanation, they're willing to go ahead and provide that loan to you. Um, I, I'm a real estate owner. OK, I'm in Texas and I'm in Florida. And even though I run a real estate company, I personally lost homes to foreclosure. I lost two investment properties. So the thing is, it, it doesn't matter who you are um, with the way this housing market, you know, kind of fell in our lap. You know, everybody is, is losing something in this economy and banks 
have to understand that. If not, then there's not going to be anyone that's going to be able to get a home. So none of us really have, you know, um, walked away without being touched of what's happening in the housing market. You're listening to uh, Corey and uh, Millie uh, Kamradar, and uh, they are with the newhomeprograms.com. And by the way, if you're thinking about thinking about, you know what I mean? If you're thinking about thinking (laughs) about thinking about a house, now's the time to go to the website at newhomeprograms.com. And they also are, are very much interested, and if you would like to sit down and have a free consultation and learn, because a lot of things have changed. In fact, a lot of things have changed for me. Uh, I have not been active uh, the last uh, couple of years because I have pulled back myself from any activity because the great people, uh, like my guest today, are, are really in there, and this thing's turning around, and they're giving some great advice. So. I don't even know uh, some of the new nuances that uh, would go into uh, that decision. And so uh, giving them a call and having that free consultation would be very, very important. Before we talk a little bit about uh, a little more foundational things about your firm, I wanted you to just speak for just a moment because the average person may think if they gave their house up to a foreclosure or if they went through a tough time, because people get underwater with credit, uh, and this is very tricky when it comes to, I believe, what the scripture talks about, excessive debt. But at the same time, if someone got underwater and, and had debt and their wi- their debt was wiped out either through bankruptcy or it went in collections and they took care of it, some people think the best thing to do is don't use a credit card ever again, don't ever get a car loan, don't have any kind of credit. Unfortunately, we want you to be responsible as you reestablish credit. But, Corey, that's the wrong thinking, isn't it? Because you have to do some minimal things to show that you have now rehabilitated yourself and you can handle uh, credit and payments, right? Yes, most definitely. And, you know, the, the Bible says that when the Lord blesses us, blesses us, he wants us to be able to lend people money and not borrow. But the scriptures also say that if you are in a position to borrow money, make sure that you can pay it back. It even goes as far as, say, if you're going to co-sign for another person, make sure that you have the ability to pay back. So in order to get a loan from a bank, they want to see that you've already borrowed money from someone else and that you have a track record of, of paying it back. So people who go through bankruptcy, the number one problem they have when they go to purchase a home is they never reestablish credit. And that's what the bank's going to look for, um, a 12-month to a two-year track record of you paying somebody back on time. Tell us a little about your firm because uh, I had a chance to meet both of you, and you have really dedicated this thing to the Lord, and that is very central. It's just not a casual part of what you're doing. And by the way, let me just make sure that you understand that this is a full-service real estate brokerage firm, even though uh, they have uh, really uh, adjusted uh, their uh, expertise in the area of, of the changing market for first-time home buyers, and again, that's anyone has not been in uh, in a home ownership for three years. If you're still involved with general real estate, want to buy a resale, if you want to uh, get some assistance on some commercial property, including uh, uh, some uh, locating apartment services, all of that, don't discount giving them a call or checking the website out because they are full service. But right now, before we have a chance to wrap things up, tell us a little bit because you have really dedicated your business to the Lord, right? Yes, sir. Tell us about that. Well, Why? one, um, we're pastors. So, you know, yes, we have a real estate company, but our goal is to work in ministry, to be able to evangelize, because that is the great commission of the Lord. So real estate is actually a tool that God uses to bring people to us because he places that desire to own homes. And when they come to us, it gives us an opportunity to minister the gospel through our lifestyle. And in each one of our offices, we build out a sanctuary where we actually conduct services because, you know, When you minister to someone and they receive Jesus, the next stage is they need to be discipled and prepared so that they can go out and minister the word. So we use our business um, as a a hook to bring people in so that they can receive the Lord and be discipled. Because uh, we also offer the services called credit enhancement. These people who are losing homes or they don't know how to keep their credit, we actually coach them. Uh, free of charge to get them to the place where they can actually qualify for a loan. So through that process, someone who doesn't have the credit is my best client because I'm able to minister through the Word of God, the principles of God in their credit. Biblically, I can show them, and it's not going to do it in a Bible thumper way, but in a daily basis um, way that they can understand, wow, God is in every detail of my life. God can 
get, can heal my credit and therefore give me that blessing on a, of a home. So uh, that's the service that we provide. It is free to them. And so that's that's the opportunity that we have to let God be in us and ministry, minister to them um, through the through the services in real estate. Mm, that's exciting. Now, you actually, the firm or, or the overall firm really got started back in Texas. Tell us about that. Uh, yes, we got started in Houston, Texas. Um, I was just a regular real estate agent, never wanted to be a real estate broker, never wanted to open a company because of the responsibility and accountability. Uh, but the God spoke to us and he gave us a word and he says, look, I'm going to change this economy and I'm going to it's going to start with housing. And I need you to go and lift up a company and I need this company to go to all 50 states and then eventually globally, because as the economy was going to go south, people will start to seek you out. And when they seek you out, be sure to minister the gospel to them. So it did start in Houston, Texas. After our first year of operations, uh, we had a very successful year. We did about 12 million in sales. And then the Lord says, now go to Tampa because the people need you in Tampa. So blind faith, we came to Tampa. We didn't know anyone. But the Lord said, when you show up and you obey, I will start to lift people up around you. And that's exactly what he did. And we've been open almost 90 days. And already we've tripled um, our sales force. We're up to nine agents right now. And he's truly bringing a spirit field uh, ministers of the gospel and we're already seeing people being gained for Christ and now they're actually being discipled and we've already baptized people in the city through our real estate office all right ministry and profession what an exciting thing right here on drive time this afternoon if you would like to know more about uh, the new home programs the website is newhomeprograms.com that's newhomeprograms.com and of course uh, a lot of counseling a lot of assistance both in the area of real estate and if you're looking to uh, have that uh, deeper walk or that initial walk with the Lord Jesus Christ, they're very much open. Of course, we're talking about uh, Corey uh, and the Millie Commodiner. And uh, by the way, they're going to be back with me on Friday because we're going to talk a little bit more about their exciting work here in Tampa. And we're going to also have a in-studio video session. So we're looking forward to that. But in the meantime, hey, it is getting to be that time to where you don't want to miss out on historically low interest rates coupled with some great housing values, and to know that some of these uh, incentives for you to buy a house could be as high as $30,000, well, that might not, not everyone might qualify for that, but that certainly is out there, and so you need to be going to the website right now at newhomeprograms.com. Corey and Melly, it's exciting to have you with us, and uh, sorry I couldn't be with you personally as uh, we're on uh, uh, duty here in Tallahassee, but we look forward to uh, having you join us on Friday. Thanks a lot, Bill. We'll see you Friday. God bless. See you God soon. God bless you. Thank you.